All right, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Victoria. What's good? It's free. What's up? I'm Sade Beckett. And this is Served on Sundays. And today, we're going to be doing a little of quarantine talk, OK? So we're going to go ahead and say hello to Ms. Beckett hello. over here. Hello. Um, so how about you go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit. Tell us who you are, what you're about. Well, my name is Sade Beckett, as you know. Um, I'm originally from New York. I sing, I've been doing music all my life, I dance, I act, I model, host a little bit now apparently, <laughs> you know. Um, I just love entertainment, I love the arts, uh, I love interacting with people, I love performing, most and foremost, and uh, I'm just here to have a good time. Okay, okay. And um, you guys are aware free, but if you're not aware free, how about you? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Free introduce yourself. What's good? I'm free. Um, you know, I'm, I'm from Lansing, Michigan, but technically been raised in Texas, so I claim both whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I just see myself as an overall creative. I do a lot, you know, from, from art to music to fashion, all that stuff. If, if I enjoy it, if I like it, I do it. That's me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cool Guy. Okay. All right. So um, it's great to meet you guys. and. Um, if you don't know by now, I'm Victoria, and as Victoria, I just do as Victoria does, which is whatever. So, let's go ahead and dig into the pot. I didn't get the link for the live. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but it's okay. Let's continue. Let's continue the live. <laughs> hey, it is so fucking hot. Damn. Hold on. I don't even know why the fuck I just touched it. It's crazy. Okay. First topic, 5G. What y'all think about 5G? Um, I think that it's good stuff. Um, but I like I think they need to figure out how to control it first. You know, as far as health reasons and the radiation that it's putting out and everything like that. But I think it's good. It's good stuff. I mean, but I mean, we we're not doing bad with the 4G that we have. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's giving us the internet service we need. It's pushing out the speed that we need and everything like that. So, you know, 5G is just this next level like any other technology that we have. But they need to take the time to figure it out and, you know, exactly how we can use it, how it's going to work so it's safe to use. Okay. Um, so you're kind of like a technology type of dude, right? right. So, so you're kind of well versed on 5G? Bit. Can you break it down for us just a little bit? Because I mean, I know what five G is, but I mean, it's it's, it's nothing special. You know, it's basically it's the new iPhone. It's just like going from your iPhone four to your iPhone five to where it's a little bit faster. You know, it offers you just you know a little more variety. But other than that, there's nothing fantastic about it. Why do you think it's not fantastic? Is it not going to be like faster? I mean, yeah, but I mean, how how much how much faster do you need to get? Exactly. I mean, let me. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but my phone kind of uh, it slows down like after about six months. Right, but that's with anything. So even with five G, after you use it for you know what I'm saying you but it would at me. least be faster than what I'm used to even if it does slow down yeah but then you're gonna say that that's still not fast enough I need it to be fast but it's fast enough good enough sometimes things are fast enough I heard a lot of things about it taking up too much energy like in a bad way for the earth you know what I mean so I've heard things to where it's, it's I think it's banned in a few countries they try to ban it in a few countries or something like that too like is it good? Is it really that good? It's okay. It's just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That doesn't sound like something that I would. Literally, like I said, it's, it's, it's literally just the new technology. But once, if we were to scrap this and go to 5G, then we're going to be looking for 6G in the next, you know, four to five months because it's still not fast enough. But, like, why do you think people keep relating it back to Corona? Like, what, what, what necessarily does the coronavirus have to do with 5G? Like, why do people think that there's some conspiracy here? I don't, I, don't, I think that's just a conspiracy theorist thing. 
you know, but uh, there are no there are no related signs nor symptoms to the sickness of corona and 5G. Other than radiation, it, you know what I'm saying, you getting exposed to radiation and weakening your body, which yeah. makes you more exposed to what's out there. Okay, so when I ask this question on the polls, it seems like people are, like, you know, they're thinking that that's really what is making people sick and that's really what they're in the hospital for. Yeah. And not so much corona. Do you like see the correlation? Respiratory. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, it's they're not related at all. Like I said, it could be a help. Just like if you don't eat healthy, or if you don't exercise enough, or you know, what I'm saying you just outside every day and just don't care, then you know you're gonna get corona. You know what I'm saying? But it is not. Five G is not a cause to corona. It can help, but it's and not, it's not a cover up. Correct. All right, so guys, we decided it's not a cover up. Next case. What do you think? Do you think it's a cover up? You don't think so? I actually, like, I mean, in my mind, I think 5G will be good because I still have 3G. <laughs> so I'm thinking. So you're like, all for it. Yeah, I'm okay. like, all right. And I don't think that's what's making us sick. I don't even know what really is making us sick, but we're going to get into it, I'm sure. So. Next topic. Next topic. Uh, all right. I don't know why I write these sticky notes. <laughs> okay. Oh, what do you guys think? Okay, so basically, what is now happening in this whole huge like chapter of whatever like story we're in? They're going to be like doing some tests in Africa you know, for the vaccine. So, like, right. what do you guys think about that? Like, why do you think that these researchers are targeting Africa and using their people? Because I don't know if you guys saw that news video, that news uh, thing, where um, there was two French scientists pretty much saying that that's what they should do, mm -hmm. uh, are poor Africans. And a lot of people were saying, oh, that's racist, that's racist, whatever. Well, what do you guys think about it? Oh, I'll go ahead. Okay, I personally think that it's sad. Like. I understand what they say, like, you know, somebody is poor and it's easier to try it on them. But at the same time, like, what makes you think that their life isn't as, as important as your life? You know what I mean? So we do have to find a cure. They do have to find a cure. But at the same time, I think it's, it is racist. It is racist. I'm sorry. And on top of that, I think that it's other ways. Why, it's rats. It's rats right now. You can affect rats. You can affect an animal. You can do anything. I'm at no harm against animals, but I'm saying, as far as a person, like it's kind of messed up that he would say that. But uh, I would say just because, I mean, what sense? Unfortunately, sound. But what sense does it does it make to try on your own people, people. as far as like in your, you know, what I'm saying in your sector right. because if it doesn't work and it goes bad that's not good for you nor your your economy and what you got going on so as to where we go to a third war country where who cares you know what I'm saying because they already doing bad anyway and they you know what I'm saying they not gonna and there's really not too many laws, rules, or regulations against them either. Don't have to sign no contracts. Don't have to worry about, oh, if you, you know what I'm saying, if this affects you in a negative way, we've got to pay you A, B, and C, and all, you know, you get to go past all those rules, regulations, and concerns because nobody cares and they don't care, so let's do it. Hmm, interesting. I think, um, while it is like a terrible thing that Africa is consistently targeted yeah, okay. and it's always, you know, made out to seem like, you know, this land that you don't really want to be from, um, come from or go to. Um, I just think African leaders, you know, they have a responsibility to like, you know, now stand up against.